Hello my dear friend, this is Rakesh and uh, this is my second video on the private uh, constructor. In the last video we have uh, discussed in detail about the private constructor that what is the private con constructor and what is the different functionalities we can achieve using the private constructor and uh, along with this we have also done the comparison with the uh, private constructor and the sealed classes. Both private constructor and the sealed classes provide the isolation level and the production level production uh, of that class from, from the other classes and uh, so we have also done the comparison of that and we have seen that if, if we are having the private constructor we are not able to initialize that class right and we are not even to uh, inherit that class um, that particular class is not be able to inherit it by the some other classes so the question was here that if we are having any class with the private constructor so do we we will not be able to create the instance of that class so we will cover in this current video that we are having some private class in spite of this we will create get the instance of that private class and using that instance we will call the methods or the data members of that private class or sorry in that class uh, data members of the class which is having the private constructor inside this so let's uh, move to the visual studio and we will see this practically so in, in this is the same example which i have shown in the last example and uh, in this example, I have the created a um, class bank and we have the private constructor over there bank and uh, I have a one method over here. So and uh, same comments. If you have not seen my previous video, uh, you can find the link of the previous video in the command section. Go to the command section and uh, please uh, find uh, see that video at the first and then you will find this video more helpful. So in this example, we'll see that uh, it will uh, create the object of this class it will not allow us to create the object of production because of the production label right so now do we will not be able to and give a call to this show method which is uh, a public method inside this the bank class but only because of this constructor do we will not be able to uh, make a call to this yes we can make a call to this constructor how we have to use the activator class so i have already written a bunch of code so um, i will explain you these two line of the code you have to use in which i have created a type so i have created a type and uh, object and type of this is a bank class and uh, we get the type of this bank class in this type variable and this is the activator class activator class is the different methods you um, do the f12 on this method you will see the different methods over there right and you will get the different methods of it to get the instance over there so overloaded methods are there so in the first parameter i just pass the type of class for which i want the object right and the second parameter is boolean type of the parameter it will be true if you have the private constructor over here in, in your class your uh, if your class is having uh, public or non public constructor then you have to put, uh, make this parameter true if your uh, class for which you are getting you want to get the instance if that class is having only the public uh, constructor then you can make this uh, parameter as a false false if uh, the class is a public then you can make it a false if class is having public or non public public or private if class is having private uh, constructor over there then you have to make it true so this will um, create uh, give you the instance and will typecast it with the class and we'll get the ob in object right and uh, now using the object as we were doing in the public constructor uh, we will command this line object dot show so i have make a call to this show method now i will build yeah i'm able to build it so i will run it yeah great the private constructor is able to uh, first it, it give the call to the private constructor and then it call the show method which was the expected behavior in the similar way as if we decorate the class this class with the private sorry really sorry sorry it's a public and uh, if i um, command this code and i create the instance in the traditional manner and uh, i build it if it has it will run the same manner it can give the call to the private constructor and then it, it give the call to the show method so we have seen the difference over here that if we have the class 
with the public constructor we are able to uh, get the instance of that class and we are able to get the call the show method but if we are having the private constructor then this will not work we have to use the activator class uh, create instance method and then we will typecast it with in our uh, required uh, class and using this these two lines using these two lines you will be able to get the instance of that class and you will be able to make a call to this particular data members right so if you find this video any helpful then please don't uh, forget to like or subscribe and uh, if you have not uh, watched my previous video then uh, go to the comment section and uh, find the link of that video and please review that video first and that will make your more understanding on this and uh, thanks a lot for watching